Hi everyone. Today we are going to attempt to make um, one of uh, G. Kerr's flip out booklets. Um, it's pretty cool. It's made out of a <clears throat> well I used an eight and a half by eleven uh, piece of coffee dyed paper but um, I've just got some pieces from the um, from the kit, I printed out background pages half size, and that's what I've used. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you that I'll, I, as I go along, there's a um, when you open it, there's a pocket here. This flips out, and there's a tuck here, and this flips out, and there's a tuck here. So the whole thing just flips inside itself, and it's really cute and easy. So I've got everything I need. This is all. I need well besides the ink but um, you start with a <clears throat> eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and she just tears it so that's the way I did it fold it in half and use your fingernail to really crease that good <clears throat> excuse me and then I fold it back the other way and crease it good. And then you tear that apart. So this is going to be our outside cover. Okay, you take this piece and you fold it in half. Use your fingernails. Oh, you can cut this. You don't have to tear it. But I do like the way that it kind of came out with the pages a little bit more rustic. Tear that. Okay, take this one. You getting a sense of this? Repeat, fold it in half, crease. I usually flip it both ways to make sure I get a good tear. Tear it in half. Now I've got three different size pieces. I think you can see those right there. And we'll take this last one, fold it in half, crease, crease really good with your fingernails. And <clears throat> there you go. We need those four pieces. This is an extra. So what I may do with this later, um, is decorated up like a little journal card or something just put a piece on there and use it for or use it for a tag or something but um, not till I get later on in the book the first thing I want to do is just put it together the way that that G did on her video and I will link her video below so you can watch it okay so we've got uh, four different size pieces okay so the first one you're going to fold in half and this is going to be the cover. Okay. The second next size down, we are going to fold this in. And I did about, um, yeah, about an inch and a half I folded in. Maybe an inch and, well, you know what, maybe an inch and three quarters. You want enough to make the little uh, tuck, but not so much. Or uh, you want to make sure that this is going to close. That's the main, the main thing. So this will go here, okay, and then this will have a little corner tuck that we'll do, okay. This one will have just a small like a half inch size and that will attach here and then this piece I hope you're getting all of this um, this piece goes here and it will have a little corner tuck so the first thing I want to do is ink around everything And 
and some of the pieces um, you need to put the ephemera on before um, before you attach. So that's I want to go ahead and ink it so I don't forget to ink because I do forget. So all right, you guys know how to ink. So I'm going to pause the video here ink up all these pages and then I will be right back. So, the first thing I want to do is put the covers on. So I've got a, a few pieces here that um, wait a minute. Oh here they are. <laughs> okay so I think I want to put this one on the front here. And I'm going to put it this way because I'd like to put a piece of lace. Get the glue open. I went ahead and, um, while I was inking the pages, inked up the ephemera. So these are background pages. I took all the background pages and I printed them out half size for journal cards and um, I'm just using two of these background pages in this booklet. There we go. And um, I printed them on cardstock. These are on cardstock because I was going to make um, you know the journal cards with them but I think this would have been a little bit easier for the booklet if it had been just regular copy weight or well, what I usually use is the um, 28 pound from Walmart. So let's get a piece of lace on here. Oh, it's way bigger than I need. Trim that down a little bit. Okay, so there's the front cover. This one goes on the back cover. Oops. This one I'm just going to center. So here's the inside. Now, um, G did a bigger pocket that would have more depth on the inside here, but I wanted to use up the other piece of this, so I'm just going to use this, and I'm just going to glue it on three sides. Very basic pocket here. You could make a tuck if you wanted. I'm just going to center that. I'll probably end up putting a tag in here later when I get to all the tags. Okay, and then I want to put this piece here on this side. This one's going to have the tuck spot go over, over the top of it. So this is just the largest piece, folded in half, and that's our, our cover. Now we're going to take the next size piece, which we folded, and this is going to be attached here. Now um, I'll probably leave like just a sixteenth of an inch border, and I want to fold this down maybe a quarter inch or so. Try to get it straight. There we go. And I want to glue that down so it's not flapping around. 
leaves. Like I said, this is just uh, 28 pound paper, this one. These are cardstock, and you can see how they curl when you want to glue them. So I think this would have been better with um, regular paper um, for this part. But um, this is 28 pound paper that I've coffee dyed. And I just need a little bit of ink on this edge here. Okay, so on this one, because I want it to be a tuck, I'm just going to put glue on this edge and the bottom. And then I'm going to probably, like I said, leave maybe a sixteenth of an inch border there. And that leaves us with a, a tuck spot here. And then I've just, this is a belly band shape well, it's just a one inch strip of paper. I was going to use it for a belly band, but I changed my mind. So I want to put this here, but I want to have a little bit of a border. I'd like to have it kind of like that. So I'm going to cut off about a quarter of an inch here. Re-ink the bottom. And then, yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so there we've got our tuck spot, get some of that ooze, okay. Now on this page, um, we have this piece, and we're going to glue this piece down first. This is, we've got the largest, and we're, these are in order of size, so. This is just the third largest piece that we had. So I'm going to do the same thing, leave about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so that opens up. And then, well, I didn't cut that straight at all, did I? This piece, anyway. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go over the top of this. The Some of these are pieces uh, from background pages that I cut, um, printed smaller. These, this is from a strip that I cut, but they, these are the background pages. This is from the ephemera page um, in the kit. If I had been smart, I would have made another pocket out of this. But you know, this this can it's already got a couple of tucks in a pocket. I think that's pretty much um, what you can hold in something this small. But there's not a lot of ephemera with this kit, but what is there is really cute. Okay, so now we've got, um, this is the first, second, third piece, and then the fourth piece here is just going to get glued here, and then this is going to fold down. So let me see if I can fold a corner without too much incident, and then I'll just edge that. So I do want to glue this little flappy down. And then on this one, I am going to make it a tuck, so I'm just going to do the corners here. This edge and this edge. Put that in there. This one's, um, this one's really wrinkling up. Okay. 
All right, so this one, I want to, well, I want to put a bird, a bird. I mean, I want to put a, bleh. I want to put a butterfly and a word. Okay, so let's see. Um, got this list here. Um, I've got wonderful memories. Let's do um, kindness. Okay, so I want to. I do want to ink this a little bit because it's really light. And then I also want to add just a touch of glue to this. Sometimes they stick better than others. And then I want this to go right in this corner here. And the reason I'm putting on the word first is so I know where to put the butterfly. And get that glue that's oozing out. All right, so I've got a little butterfly that I've cut from one of the background pages here, and I'm just going to wrap some of this um, eyelash yarn around. Oops, it's supposed to be over here. What happened? Let me start again. And now I have a knot. Okay, this stuff doesn't tie in a knot. <laughs> until you... All right, let's try again. I want to tie a piece of eyelash yarn around this butterfly. and I'd like it to be a knot which is not always the easiest thing to do with this eyelash yarn but we'll see how we do I try to do a square knot so it doesn't come out but it's so silky that sometimes it just kind of loosens up but the Putting the glue on the back will help too. All right, so I'm gonna leave that about an inch. Okay, I've got the eyelashes everywhere. There we go. All right, so let's, I wanna curl up the wing tips here. I mean, it's going to flatten out a little bit, but just a little bit of movement here. Okay. And I'm going to stick this here, like so. There we go. So that looks good. All right, now we're going to flip this over and looks like I folded it crooked is what happened. Okay, we can fix that. I don't really, I wanna make sure there's no glue oozing. Yeah, okay, so I've got this piece here from, from the ephemera. And I've cut these out a little bit um, wonky, um, well not really wonky, what's the word, jaggedy, yeah, jaggedy around the edges, just to, um, this one I forgot, but I tried to, to cut them out a little bit, to, you know, with some texture around the edges, or I textured the edges with the scissors, so. Okay, and now we've got one more here, and that's this one, and this is another piece of ephemera from the kit, but you see how I've got it kind of jaggedy on the edges, just to add a little bit more texture. 
not a lot going on. I didn't want to add a lot of layers. We've already got four layers with the pieces of paper, you know, folding inside themselves. So, okay. And there we go. And like I said, I'll probably come back and put a ticket or not a ticket, but a tag in here because I have some two inch tags and um, we'll stick some tickets or something in the uh, in the pockets. But I want to see how much I want to use in the book first and if I have to print more I will. But today I just wanted to put together the booklet. So this closes this way, this way, this way. Isn't that cute? I just love that and that'll be perfect. Um, perfect size. It, it, it finishes at uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So, um, and, and there's not an awful lot of bulk, at least not on the top, a little bit on the bottom, but um, it's still um, relatively flat. So I really like, like that. Thank you, G, for all your great ideas. So thanks you guys for coming. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, Keep the comments coming. I appreciate it. I really enjoy reading those. So I will see you on Monday. Talk to you next time.